Hundreds gathered in Fort Smith to speak out against racism and police brutality earlier today. Thank you for joining us tonight for your 5 News at 6. I'm Julian Eclipson. Today's protest happened at Ginny Lind and Zero Street in Fort Smith. 5 News reporter Allie Lynch was there all afternoon and she joins us with the details. It's an empty parking lot now, but earlier around 200 protesters were out here lining the street for more than four hours. The protest started at 11 this morning and ended at three. People of all nationalities and ages stood together in unity, remaining peaceful the entire time. We should have, we should have to protest because we're treated differently. We should have to go through this. And for us to go through this, it's, it's not fair to us, but it is what it is. A mixture of emotions ran through the hearts of the protesters on Saturday. For the 11th straight day in the United States, crowds gathered denouncing police brutality and seeking reforms. It has been really affecting me as an individual. And so I just wanted to do my part to kind of keep my community aware and accountable because, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, that doesn't happen here. Well, it doesn't happen to you. Though most people were wearing masks, their collective chants could be heard loud and clear. George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, and no justice, no peace. Trying to get people to understand the voice that we're bringing is something important. You must listen, and if you sit back silent, that means you're against us. If you're not speaking out and you're not trying to change what's going on here, then you're against us. You're part of the problem. Silence fell among the crowd for about eight minutes when protesters and police all took a knee on the hot ground and many raised their fists in the air. It's been deaths. It's been murders going on. We need to take a moment of silence to think, meditate with God, get our minds right. And focus. Fort Smith police came out to the protest, protecting, supporting, and standing with their community. When the Fort Smith PD showed up out here, you know, normal clothes, not thinking that we are rioters, you know, seeing that we're normal people trying to change something, it definitely made me feel a lot better about, you know, my community and my police department down here in Fort Smith. That we we know where they're coming from and being out here with them, not in not in riot gear like you might see in other places, that, but we're out here just just to keep the peace and, uh, and and to join to hear what they have to say. Again, a very peaceful protest today in Fort Smith. Two people here at the protest were treated for heat related incidents, but are expected to be just fine in Fort Smith covering news where you live. Allie Lynch, five news.